I have a student who gave me a message last night on Facebook and one of the messages that he's talking about is he's now doing his MBA and one of the things that he's learned and one of the most valuable things that he's learned through his MBA is that you need to be open to continuous education if you would like to be um, up to date and current when it comes to your education. So the formal education that you take, for instance, in an MBA or your PhD is great, but if you're not continuing your education, then you're not current. Because the world's changing so quickly, the technology's changing so quickly, and the jobs are changing so quickly that it's important that you stay current. And one of the questions that he asked is, how do you train students in high school or in the traditional school system if the jobs that you're training them for don't even exist yet? And so I responded as following, as this is my, my response. Providing students with tools to find the answer is what high school education is all about. Mental tools, not physical tools. Physical tools will change, so you can show them how to use a computer, but that's not going to help them any because the computers are going to change so much by the time they actually get into the workforce. Elementary school is needed to give students a desire to learn, build curiosity, and teach them the basic reading, writing, and arithmetic skills. After that, they need to dictate their own learning, and traditional education does a great job of the three R's, but tends not to foster creativity, inquisitiveness, or desire to fail by trying. So what we need to do is give them the basic skills and then allow them to dictate what they'd like to learn because at the moment if you try to teach students information in the information society in which so much information exists you can never do it within the 12 years that they're in high school. What you have to do is give them the tools so that they can find the answers to any questions that they have for the rest of their life and their learning will continue so what you need to create is lifelong learning. Anyways, it's always great to get a message from an ex-student or a question from an ex-student and, and I hope he does very well in his MBA.